What is up guys, it is Charlie and we are back for part 2 of my Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. In the last episode, we basically started off and I picked my Stars Pokemon as Charmander and we just did a little errand for Professor Oak. So if you missed that then just go watch it. And in this episode we'll be heading back up to Viridian City and there is some stuff that we can do up there. So, we're going to have to head up through this grass, obviously, um, encountering Rattataz and Pidgeys. And I don't have running shoes yet, which is really annoying. But I've officially left my Pokemon journey now, and it's, yeah, we're ready to go get some badges, I guess. Although in Viridian City, there isn't actually a gym that you can challenge. It's The gym in Viridian City is actually the eighth gym in this game, because it is... Um, well, obviously, you'll see later on in the game, but it's strange like that. Um, so, Rathtad's going to get taken out by Burn. I want to try and get uh, Charmander to about level 12 before... Well, a bit higher than level 12. About level 15 before we battle the first gym. Who is Brock? As he has a Rock-type Pokemon, which would be very strong against Fire-types. And there is also a Pokemon that I'm going to try and catch this episode. I'm not sure if I will be able to see it, but if I do, then I will catch it. Um, if you're actually using Charmander then I would definitely recommend that you do kind of what I'm about to do this episode as it will really come in handy. Trust me, it, it will really come in handy as Charmander does have a really big disadvantage in the first gym. So yeah, we're back in Viridian City now. And I need my running shoes. I think, was my mum supposed to give me running shoes? I think she was. Um, I'm not too sure. I hope sh I don't I don't really know. I have to find out after this episode. But if I have to walk everywhere, this is going to be really bad. Although I am sure you can get running shoes somewhere. I'm just not too sure where just yet. But no doubt my mum will just give them to me at some point. So we're actually going to head west from Viridian City right now, and this is where you come to go to Victory Road at the end of the game. But we're going to come here now because there's something we need to do. So we're going to head through, up through this grass and along and look who it is it is gary hey charlie you're off to the pokemon league forget about it you probably don't have any badges do you the guard won't let you through without them by the way did your pokemon get any stronger so gary's obviously just trying to pull a quick one on the guard and go straight to the pokemon league with his two pokemon pidgey and squirtle which yeah obviously it didn't work and wow it's actually level nine i didn't know it would be that high level this could actually be quite a difficult battle considering I don't have any potions I think I'm actually gonna lose this so I probably should have um, yeah I probably should have thought about that before I went into this battle but oh well and if that ember took it out then this I would have won this battle but no luck isn't on my side today I'll see if I have any potions but I don't think I do unless Professor Oak gave me some which I don't think he did at least we grew to level 9 uh, let's see what I have then he's gonna have a squirtle now and it, I think it knows bubble now oh Okay, what is this? Um, go away. Uh, oh, we have one potion. Brilliant. Even though it's going to know bubble, I think. Is it? Oh, well, it's using tackle. Um, hmm, scratch or ember. I think I should go for a scratch and I'll go for an ember because I'm hoping that maybe I can get a burn. That would be really lucky if I could. Oh, no burn. Oh, yeah, we got the burn. <laughs> that was so lucky. Hopefully it doesn't know bubble, otherwise we are really, really screwed. But we're just going to keep scratching it as Ember does much less than scratch. So, scratch it. And now it's got less HP than me. So, it looks like we might win this battle. The tide has turned. Um, I'm, ho I'm really hoping it doesn't it hasn't learned bubble yet, because that would suck if it just suddenly used a bubble attack and I fainted. Oh no, and there we are. Nice, we beat Gary for the second time. And Charmander grew to level, I think he actually might have got to level 11. Let me see. Oh no, he didn't actually. Oh, you just lucked out. Sure, we did, Gary. Alright. I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough, tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. Coming from you, Gary, I just defeated you. But whatever. Um, right, let's have a little look in this grass. As I said, there is a certain Pokemon that I'm looking for. Which will not be in my final team, but it will be in my team for now. And what do you know? Here it is. So, it is a Mankey. I'm really hoping this Scratch is going to take it out. And we got a critical hit. That is absolutely great, Charmander. Right, so now we're going to have to find another one. Because Mankey was a Pokemon that I'm looking for. As Mankey is a fighting type and this one's a female. Sorry to be picky, guys. <laughs> 
just gonna run away from that. Um, basically, Mankey is a fi fighting type Pokemon, not fire type Pokemon, and Brook has rock type Pokemon in his gym, and obviously, fighting is strong against. Oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna be keeping this Pokemon for my final team, I'll just capture it. Alright. And. Bag. Pokeball, because I do believe. I think Mankey learns Karate Chop at level 8, which would be good. I won't, I won't be keeping Mankey though, I'm not a fan of Mankey and Primeape. I don't know why, just, they've just they just never been a Pokemon that I've liked. And usually when I play the Pokemon games, I don't actually go for teams that are strong, I go for the teams with Pokemon that I actually like in them. I don't know if any of you guys think like that as well, but hey, let's go back to Viridian City now. And go to the Pokemon Center as Mankey is probably really tired. So yeah, we're going to go heal him up, and then we're going to head north. And see what is going on up there. Yes, Nurse Joy, you can heal my Pokemon. So I've got two Pokemon already in the second episode. That is not bad at all. So we're going to head out. I don't really think there's much else to do in this town. Um, nope. I think there's a guy we can speak to up here. Yes, here he is. Well, now, I've had my coffee and that's what I need to get going. Hmm, what is that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch Pokemon? I suppose I had better show you then. Thank you, old man, but I do know how to catch Pokemon be considering that I just caught a... Um, what did I just catch? I caught a Mankey, didn't I? Yes. So he's going to show us how to catch a Weedle level 5. And he's not even in some grass, he's just standing there and a Weedle attacks him. So he's obviously some sort of god but yeah he's gonna try and catch this weedle he didn't even injure it that's not a very good tutorial about showing us how to catch pokemon you meant to injure it first and then try and capture it but nope he catches it in his first pokeball there now tell me that was educational was it not and here take this too we got a teachy tv if there's something you don't understand watch that it will teach you about the basics of being a pokemon trainer well thank you so we're gonna be heading north now we're on route two not for long though, as we will be heading to Verid Viridian City. Why do I keep clicking that? Um, enter, sorry. Uh, we'll be heading to Viridian Forest, actually. Um, I don't know if you, any of you guys have seen the anime, but in Viridian Forest is when Ash basically gets attacked by the Beedra when he's battling against Samurai. I, I, know, I didn't like that Samurai guy. There's something about him that I didn't like. Right, so here's Mankey. Um, his only moves are Scratch and Leer, so this is kind of... Ah, this isn't going to be good at all, but hey. Oh my god, that is, Pidgey is doing a ton of damage. Right, so we're going to actually switch out to Charmander. And being unorganized, as usual, I completely forgot. I want to go to the Pokemon Mart and grab uh, a few potions and a few antidotes as we're heading into Viridian Forest. And they are crawling with Weedles that just spam Poison Sting. And that really does get me annoyed when I'm poisoned, especially in this game, because your Pokemon can actually faint from being poisoned, whereas in the new ones, they don't faint from being poisoned. Well, when you're not battling, they don't. So let's just go ahead to the Pokemon Mart really quickly, and this would be very helpful if I just had the running shoes. God damn. Right, so let's go in here. So we have some potions. Um, no, I want ten. I'll take... I'll take four potions. I'll take a couple of antidotes, I'll say about five antidotes, and we'll take four more Pokeballs. Okay, that sounds good. Right, now let's head back to Viridian Forest. While I'm here, should I heal up? <laughs> it's just another thing after another thing, isn't it? Right, let's just go heal up because Mankey is quite low on HP after that grueling battle with Pidgey that ended up with Charmander having to finish it off. But yeah, let's go heal up. And then we will finally make it to Viridian Forest, and no doubt by the time we make it this episode will be over, but hopefully not. So let's go. I don't really think there's much else to do in this town at the moment, apart from that gym later on in the game, as I said. So, Route 2. Up here we go, and I'm not really looking for any wild encounters at the moment, so we'll just try and run through this. There we are. I could have actually walked around that, it would have been a lot easier. Okay, so, 
out from this door and we are in Viridian Forest. Now there is quite a few Pokemon you can capture in Viridian Forest, I'll get into that in a minute. There is actually one that I'm look looking for so, and we didn't find it. So in this in Viridian Forest you can capture a Caterpie, a Weedle, a Kuna, a Metapod and a Pikachu. So yeah, there's quite a lot of Pokemon that you can catch, but the Pokemon I'm looking for is obviously Pikachu. Pikachu is one of my favourite Pokemon, um, but there's only a 5% encounter rate, so it's going to be quite difficult to catch a Pikachu if you are looking for one, so don't give up if you are looking for one, you will find one eventually. It, it just will take a while, it's quite annoying like that. But anyway, we've got a Mankey versus Weedle. No doubt this Weedle knows Poison Sting. Yes, it does. It's going to be really annoying. Yep, and it poisoned me straight away. See, good thing I bought those antidotes because I, I literally, I saw that coming straight away. I really need to get Mankey up some levels. He's only level 4 at the moment. Po don't poison my Charmander as well, Poison Sting. Thank God for that. Right, we'll go for an Ember and that should definitely take out that Weedle as it is a poison type, I think. 33 experience. And, right, a Caterpie. Hmm, alright, well I'm gonna switch in Mankey, then switch back to Charmander, because I really need to get Mankey up to about, oh, I don't know, level 12, so if I don't actually get him up that high this episode, then I'll do some off-screen training before we battle the gym leader, which, which will probably be one more episode from the, well, the episode after the next episode, if you get what I mean. Um, and I've actually forgot to switch out, that stupid of me. So we're going to get residual damage from poison, and that is not good, so let's go back into Charmander, who should be able to take out this Caterpie with one Ember. Tackle. I, I always like Caterpie a lot more than Weedle, I don't know why. I'm glad that Ash actually caught a Caterpie rather than a Weedle. Yay, Mankey grew to level 5. And Charmander grew to a level 11, so we're one level off learning the move Metal Claw, which I keep going on about as being a very good move, which we do not actually need. So yeah, let's heal up Mankey as he is gonna get, uh, he's gonna actually faint unless we heal his poison. Um, yeah. So, let's keep going through Viridian Forest and try and find a Pikachu, I guess. I don't know if there's actually like a really good spot to look to find a Pikachu. I just think it's completely random. Um, so here is a Caterpie, which we're just going to run away from, as there is a trainer battle here. So we'll battle this trainer. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Okay. Um, I didn't know Bug Catcher's jammed out, but jam um, Bug Catcher Dog is going to send out his Weedle. And it's level 7, so it's quite good. Um, Right, so I'm, I'm going to predict this, alright? He's going to go for a Poison Sting as soon as I go into my Charmander, and it's going to make me poisoned. And he goes to String Shot, so completely ignore that. Um, yeah, I can actually now take out this Weedle. I'm not going to switch um, Mankey back in, though, because, yeah, it will just cause problems when Charmander can just take them all out of Ember. And 39 experience, it just doesn't even seem worth it switching him in. Right, so let's go for another Ember. There we are. So one more Weedle. I'm, I'm guessing he's got three Weedles because Bug Catch is always... Oh, no, he's actually got Kakuna. Wow, my predictions is really bad this episode. I do apologise. He's got a Kakuna. I should have probably switched into a Mankey there. would have been able to take it out as I think Kakuna only knows Harden. Oh, that is annoying. I should have really thought about that more, but oh well. Hmm, I ran out of Pokemon. Yes, you did, Doug. Right, so there's a Pokeball up here, just standing in the blue, and it's an antidote. Obviously very helpful in Viridian Forest having some antidotes. Right, so I want to see if there's any more battles, or am I going on the way out? I think I'm actually going on the way out. Uh, we don't want to go out of Viridian Forest just yet, because there is quite a lot to do in it. I think there's quite a lot of trainers, and I need to take advantage of all those trainers, because we need to get our Pokemon to the highest level that they can be, and I know running away isn't going to help that out, but... At the moment, the, I'm going to be running, running away from all wild Pokemon except for Kakunas, Metapods, and Pikachu's. Right, so we've got another battle here. It might be a little, it might be little, but I won't like it if you go easy on me. Please don't have five Weedles or five Meta. Um, oh no, they've got two. That's good. Right, she's so got Caterpie. Okay, M Mankey, I am actually counting on you to take this Caterpie out all by yourself. 
I think Mankey can do it, guys. I mean, it might take... I mean, we we're already on 15 minutes, I know that, and it might take a lot longer than usual, but I think Mankey can do this. As long as I don't keep getting hit by string shots, then we should be all good. An extra two minutes at the end of the video will be worth it to see Mankey's rise to fame, his glory moment, so to say. So keep scratching that Caterpie, Mankey. You can do it. As long as it doesn't go for tackle, we're absolutely fine. Just keep going, Mankey. Another scratch. Oh, we're getting really close now. I think it might take two more scratches. Please don't get a crit. If it got a crit, then I would have been so upset. Right, so there we are. 79 experience, and that's going to take us to level 6. Absolutely great. Um, we learned low kick. Awesome. That's what we needed. And another Caterpie, okay, well we'll see how much low kick does, but I imagine that I'm going to have to, ooh, it's level 8, I think I might just go through the potion now, just not take the risk. So we're here, what, Mankey, I went for string shot anyway, my speed is really probably the lowest it can get thanks to all these string shots, but it doesn't matter too much, because we're going to go for a low kick, I don't imagine it will do too much damage, but we'll have to see. No, that did absolutely awful damage. Right, well I'm not going to sit around here for another two minutes watching Mankey take out Caspi. So let's go into Charmander, and he's going to get to level 12 when I take this thing out as well. So let's go for an Ember. And there we are, super effective. Take that Caspi. And 45 experience, taking us to level 12. I do believe we should learn Metal Claw now. And we didn't learn Metal Claw. So the move that I've been going on about for the last two episodes that we get at level 12, we didn't get. Okay, well maybe that was my calculations going wrong once again, which really wouldn't surprise me. But yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, please do leave a comment and a like, and I'll speak to you soon.